Greetings everyone and welcome to another moveset with commentary. Today we have number 42 which is Okuni. So yes, let's take a look at this girl. Alright, so Okuni's weapon is called Spring Parasol which is basically a parasol and uh, I absolutely love that weapon man. Umbrellas, parasols, I, I, I love those unconventional weapons. I, I especially love them if there's a hidden blade in it. That's so, so cool. Alright, so move list. So Okuni is power attack oriented girl. Uh, so yeah, uh, four three layered power attacks and uh, five strong hyper attacks. Uh, her special skill is temporarily increase allies abilities restores muso when successful to be honest i'm total noob i have no idea what you have to do to be successful in this and to be honest the increase in uh, allies abilities i don't know we tried this with my sister and we didn't see much difference but hey I'm not really expert on this game, so yeah. Alright, but, but the effect is nice, the effect is really nice. Um, Oichi also can do this thing, I think. Alright, so let's let's dive right in. Uh, as always, aerial attacks are first. So this is square. Pretty standard. And... And uh, this is triangle. So yeah, one more time. And now let's dive right into her square string. So this is her square string. Yeah, a lot of wind involved. Now let's let's dive right into her power attacks. So this is first special. Yeah, she's flying, which, you know, is logical since that's something that parasols and, <laughs> and umbrellas can do in fiction. Uh, Alright, second. I love that spinning kick. Man, the music in this stage is so fucking intense. Alright, uh, one, two, three is like this. Yeah, I really like the the finisher, how she let the parasol spin around, and this was 4 to 1. So, one more time, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, and now, now her hyper string. Her hyper string is pretty normal, actually kind of boring. This is first strong hyper attack. Second one is like this. I like the second one. Two, three. Again. And one, two, three, four. And the uh, final one. One, two, three, four, five. We. We fly a little bit. So now the R1. Really nice. And they are kind of glowing. So they are probably better right now. Yeah. Now let's call our horse. Hello, buddy. <laughs> like the finisher. Pam, pam, pam. All right. So now first one is like this. Second is launcher. One, two, three. The third one is really cool. Alright, let's now go somewhere where the action is and let's let's show our counter attack and uh, our muso attack. Hello, hello. Hey, can you Motonari don't steal my fucking kills, okay? Come, come, come. One more time, one more time. Yes. Was that visible? Was it visible? Let's let's clear the area a little bit. And our level increased. Okay, one more time. 
Yeah, I think that was sufficient. All right, let's dive right into her Musou attacks. So this is her Musou. I really love this. You know, I have telekinesis, so yeah, I can do this. And whoosh, everyone's gone. And now for her Musou Frenzy. It's like this. Yeah, real disaster piece. Alright, so that's Okuni. Uh, Okuni is not in Sengoku Basara, and I don't think that she will be, since, you know, she's she's not really a fictional character. She's, uh, she's like, originator of uh, Kabuki Theater. She, she like, performed dances in, in uh, male's clothing. That's maybe the reason why she's wearing pants and not some kind of skirt or skimpy outfit. And uh, for Okuni it herself, I really like her. She's she's not totally not total beauty, but she's definitely not ugly either. She's like she's kind of weird girl, you know. Like she's kind of mm, uh, she doesn't stand out that much, you know. She, you when you look at the girls from the Samurai Warriors. Uh, she's not the one that caught uh, that will catch your attention, but uh, you know, in a weird way, she's very like mm, different somehow. I don't know why. Maybe it, it is her voice. Her voice is really like uh, different. I I don't think that I ever heard her voice in any anime or game before. And yeah, like uh, she's that, there's something about her. There's something about her that makes her uh, special, yeah. So, I like Okuni, really, I do. She, she's using very unconventional weapon, she's kind of weird, and uh, yeah, I don't really know what to think about her, and I like girls like that. That's something that just kind of turns me on, I like this mysterious type of girls. So yeah, tell me what do you think about Okuni, and uh, this will be pretty much everything from me. Oh, why she's kind of low on my list? Uh, because her gameplay is not that great, to be honest. That's that's the only thing. If this list wasn't that much about gameplay, I would definitely place her like probably even in my top twenty. All right, so that's Okuni, um, and by the way, she has really nice like lips. Yeah, totally. Alright, so that's Okune. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for your attention, and I'll see you guys next time. So until that, farewell.